I'm going to demonstrate how to put in arterial line with the transfixation technique. It's a technique that's relatively simple and easy to perform. Before you start, you need a few pieces of equipment. So you need chlorhexidine 2% ideally cleaning solution. Um, you need an arterial cannula and a 2 mol syringe. I'd advise that you get uh, one of these arterial cannulas they made by Becton, Dickinson and Co. And they've got a flow switch at the top, which is that red button where you can close and open the, the artery. So you don't uh, run the risk of squirting blood all over the place. It's a 20 gauge cannula and they are a little bit longer than some of the other arterial cannulas. So that makes it ideal for cannulizing the radial artery. There are a few things that you can do just to make your life easier. And I think one is position. So if you can, put a bag of fluid underneath the, um, the wrist, so the wrist is slightly extended, and that will give you better access to the radial artery. The next step is obviously to clean with chlorhexidine, and you need to leave it for 30 seconds to dry. Another thing that you can do just to make your life easier is to hold the canyon as you to hold a pen. I think that gives you good control and access to the radial artery. Put your index and middle finger on the radial artery and try and uh, cannulate in a straight line uh, with your two fingers as a guide. Once you're through the skin um, and you hit the artery, you'll get flashback into your cannula. At that point, uh, what you'll need to do is push the cannula straight through the artery um, and thereby transfixing the artery. Now remove the, the needle from the cannula and then attach a 2 mole syringe. You shouldn't get any blood coming back out of the cannula because the tip of the cannula is now not in the artery anymore. While gently pulling back on the plunger, bring the cannula very slowly out uh, in the same direction as you put in the, the, the cannula. And as soon as you get flashback, um, you just advance the cannula as demonstrated. The reason why the techniques sometimes fail is um, if you kink the cannula. So make sure that you keep the cannula straight and at no point should you ever bend the cannula. I like to fix my arterial cannula with two cannula dressings. I apply one on top of the, the cannula and another one goes um, underneath it and that gives you a nice secure arterial line. So that was a demonstration of the transfixation technique of cannulizing the um, radial artery. Um, I think it's quick and easy to perform and um, I hope that was helpful.